Okay, so today I'm decluttering my lipstick collection. I have regular lipsticks, I have a few lip stains in these two sections, a couple of liquid lipsticks, and then back here I just have larger lipsticks that are a little bit big and so they don't really fit in with the other ones. I love lipstick, but I would say when I'm buying a new lip product these days, it's usually a lip gloss or a lip oil, not as much a lipstick. So I don't know that my collection has grown a ton in the past few years, but once a year I like to go through and just kind of refresh my collection, take a look at everything and see what I'm wearing what I'm not reaching for and then remove the products I'm not using and pass them along to friends and family so they can enjoy them before they expire. I hate for them to just sit here if they go unused because there are a lot of great formulas in here and I don't want my lipstick collection to get bigger than these containers. Honestly, I definitely have more than I need. I would like to condense it a little bit. There are some really great formulas in here. So I thought in today's video, I would just kind of share my favorite formulas. I'll swatch everything for you. So I'm going to start with the nude shades and then I'll move into some of the deeper shades because I'm sure my hand will end up stained by the end of this. I just thought we could hang out, chat lipstick, and I'll definitely go through and declutter. I don't have a specific number in mind. I would like to just kind of refresh it and remove products I'm not using. Okay, so let me just go through and take out some products I know I'm not going to declutter. So I'm definitely not decluttering my Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow a plumping lip serum. It's like a very melty, super glossy formula. I guess, you know, because I keep my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips in with my lip glosses, I could keep these in there as well, but it doesn't really matter in the end. I love these because they're very glossy on the lips. They feel really smooth, really nice. They're not the most long lasting. Oh, I forgot to tell you what shades these are. So on the left, I have Nude Glow. In the center is Apricot Glow. And then on the right is Bronze Glow. I also have Mocha Glow, but I don't see that one. That one might actually be in with my lip glosses, but definitely hanging on to these. I'm also not decluttering the new Elf O Face Satin Lipstick. So I did purchase a few of these. I also got a couple in the mail as PR. These are so nice. Honestly, a lot of people are describing them or saying that they're very similar to the NARS Audacious lipsticks. The packaging has a magnetic cap, which honestly just feels kind of high-end. But again, the actual formula of the lipstick is what's really nice. It's very smooth, really, really creamy. I actually did not realize I have two of the first shades. So the first shade is No Doubt. The second shade is Hustle. These are the two that I purchased myself. This one is Limitless, and then this one is Dirty Talk. I know they're expensive for e.l.f., but I do think the formula is a step up from what we've seen from e.l.f. in the past. So I'm definitely keeping these as well. And then I am going to pass the duplicate shade of No Doubt along to someone else so they can enjoy it. I think I probably will end up keeping these Buxom lipsticks as well. These are their full force plumping lipsticks. They look very smooth on the lips. They have a really pretty shiny finish. And again, they're very moisturizing. I feel like if I'm going to wear like a regular lipstick these days, I want it to be very comfortable. So on the left is Fly Girl, in the center is Goddess, and then on the right is Popstar. I'm going to declutter Popstar. Again, gorgeous formula, but that's just not a shade that I wear very often. I do wear Fly Girl and Goddess quite a bit. Those are definitely two of my go-to shades. I feel like the shade Popstar would look better on someone else. I do have two of these Milani lipsticks. I have a few more, but I have two of the nude ones. I don't know what the official name is, but I know that these are matte lipsticks. I love the design. I just think it looks so cool. And I love that it is the shade of the actual lipstick. Like one thing about lipstick is I try to store them like this so I can kind of fit them easily and see what I have. But when I'm going to pick a lipstick, if there is like no indication of what the color is based on the packaging or the sticker, like this one over here from ColourPop, chances are I just won't reach for it unless it is one of my like absolute go-tos because I don't know what the shade is. So ideally I love when the outer packaging shows the color, but if not, like it's always nice to have a colorful sticker. So on the left I have Tees, on the right is Pleasure. I definitely want to keep Tees. That is one of my favorite shades. I don't know about pleasure. I feel like it leans just a little bit pinky for me. I feel like I probably could declutter this one. I'm sure there are other shades in my collection that are kind of similar. So I'm going to set this one aside to see if there is something kind of similar. I feel like there's an Urban Decay lipstick that's pretty close. Where are those? I have a few Urban Decay lipsticks back here. I feel like, yeah, I'm thinking of this one. This one is in the shade Liar. Let's see what they look like next to each other. Okay, Liar is definitely darker than that Milani lipstick. I swear I have an Urban Decay lipstick. That is so similar and I, oh, is it naked? It's not naked, that's naked on the right. Wow, naked is a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, now that I'm looking at those next to each other too, I think I will declutter Urban Decay's Naked. Every time I wear this, like now that I just swatched it, I feel like it's going to be more of like a, a nude than a pink, but every time I wear it, it's very pink on the lips. So I'm actually going to declutter Naked. It's a gorgeous formula. This is one of their cream formulas, but the shade isn't my favorite. 
I guess I'll declutter Liar as well. I really like the Urban Decay lipstick formula, but those are not shades that look great on me. So I'll keep the Milani one. That one's actually, now that I'm looking at it compared to those really pink Urban Decay lipsticks, it's a little bit more nude leaning. So I feel like I will get more use out of it than these Urban Decay ones. So I do love the Urban Decay formula. Those just aren't my go-to shades. Okay, I have three other lipsticks from Urban Decay. Again, they don't have like a sticker on the bottom showing you what the shade is like. So I feel like for that reason alone, I don't end up reaching for these quite as much. I know that I love this shade. This one is the 405. So because I wear this one a good amount, I feel like I know what color it is based on the name. But again, if it's not a shade you wear a lot, it's hard to remember all of your lipsticks if you have quite a few. This formula is so gorgeous. This is their shine formula. It's a little bit more glossy than their cream formula. It's so pretty. It just gives you the most beautiful glossy finish. Okay, this one is What's Your Sign? This is their matte formula. It's not quite as matte as Milani's formula. This one has like a slightly more satin finish. I just wore this shade the other day in a video. I love it. So I'm going to keep that one. And then I also have Local. Again, Local is in the shine finish. You can just tell they're like beautiful, glossy, rich lipsticks. So I'm going to keep that one too. I do have an older Urban Decay lipstick. This one is 1993. This is before they redid their packaging. So on the right is the new packaging. On the left is the older packaging. This is one of my favorites. It's like a deeper, grungy, brown, purpley nude. But that's a beautiful color. I don't have a lot of like deeper nudes like that. So I'm going to keep that one too. I think I might declutter these e.l.f. lipsticks. These are good. I do like them. I'm pretty sure these are like $3, so definitely more affordable than their Old Face Satin lipsticks. But ever since they launched those, I haven't reached for these. It's so weird because I never would have described this formula as dry, but I think their new formula is just so nice, like extra smooth, extra creamy. But now this one doesn't look quite as good. Yeah, the new formula really is just so, so creamy. So on the left, I have the shade Cream. In the center is the shade Nectar. These are their Seriously Satin lipsticks. And then on the right is their O-Face lipstick in Dirty Talk. I mean, I think you can even just tell based on the swatch. Obviously, the colors are different, but the new one is just so creamy. Really, really smooth. I mean, I was kind of surprised by this one because maybe mine just dried out, but they don't quite feel as good as they used to. So I am going to declutter these two Seriously Satin lipsticks. I have a couple of these Too Faced lipsticks. These feel very high-end. Like the packaging is heavy, they just feel luxurious, and the actual formula does as well. Like sometimes you try a high-end lipstick and you're like, oh, that feels not good. Like the packaging feels cheap, the actual formula just kind of skips across the lips. That's not the case with these. Now these do come with a high-end price tag, so I do expect them to perform well. So on the left is the shade I'm Thriving, and then on the right is the shade Comeback Queen. I think I'm going to declutter the shade I'm Thriving. Again, those pink shades just don't typically appeal to me. I don't wanna get rid of every single pink tone, like mid-toned pink shade in my collection, because then I feel like I'll probably wanna run out and buy a new one when I do wanna wear it but I think I'll probably end up keeping just like one or two. So I feel like I could declutter the one on the left, but the one on the right, I'm definitely hanging on to. Okay, I have a couple of ColourPop Luxe lipsticks. They recently redid the line or they came out with new shades. I just have a couple. So I have this shade, Appy. I think this is one that I've had for a while. Again, that one's in the shade Appy. Definitely hanging on to this. This is their Velvet Blur lipstick in the shade California Love. I'm going to keep this one too. I think it's a really pretty kind of like red toned nude. And then this is one of their Lux Cream lipsticks in the shade Layover. The shades are kind of similar, but the finishes are very different. Like this one has, I mean, now that I'm swatching them in the light, they look a little bit different, but they feel different. Like this has almost more of like a soft matte finish, and this has a cream finish. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I also have this ColourPop lipstick. This was part of their Barbie collection. It is in the shade Golden Beach. This is such a pretty shade. But you know what? I never end up wearing it, and I don't know why. I think it's just because based on the packaging, I can never tell what shade it's going to be. Because I haven't reached for it really at all in the past year, I think I'm going to pass this product along. I love this product. This is the NYX Filler Instinct. It's basically like a plumping, glossy lipstick. I have a few shades. Or do I only have two? I thought I had three. I'll swatch the two that I do have. So I have a Beach Casual and then also Sugar Pie. I mean, they don't swatch that well, but they do look really good on the lips. So in the center is Beach Casual and then on the right is Sugar Pie. I wonder if I should stick these in my lip gloss drawer because, well, no, I kind of use them in the same way that I use the Makeup by Mario plumping lip serums. Like sometimes I'll wear them on their own, but sometimes I'll wear them over lipstick. This is from e.l.f. It is the Sheer Slick Lipstick in the shade Golden Pear. I think they've discontinued pretty much all of these at this point. There is a shade that's like a dupe for Clinique's Black Honey, 
which is really beautiful. These are really pretty. I love the finish. I don't know why they got discontinued. I feel like maybe e.l.f. is going to be just revamping all of their lip products over the next year or two, especially since they did the O'Face Satin Lipsticks. I feel like there is a big revamp coming of their lip glosses soon, and maybe these, but I love this formula. I think it's beautiful. I just haven't worn the shade Golden Pear in a little while, so I'm going to declutter that one, but I am going to keep this one. This one is Black Cherry, which a lot of people say is a really good alternative to Clinique's Black Honey. I tried that a long time ago, like probably 10 years ago. So I can't say for sure if this is a good dupe for it, but this is really beautiful on the lips. So I'm going to hang on to this one. I do have a few more actually. This one is Wild Peach, which is so pretty, but I'm not, I'm not really into the hot pink lip products these days. So I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, my card just filled up, so I don't know where I was at, but I am going to keep this one. It's a beautiful red. I love to wear this all year long. So even though it's not available anymore, it is still something I wanna hang on to because I love the product. Actually, this product is kind of similar too. So if you liked those e.l.f. Sheer Slick lipsticks or you're looking for another product that people say is a good dupe for Clinique's Black Honey, this is really pretty. It's the Burt's Bees Gloss and Glow. This one's in the shade Wine Wednesday. It feels really nice, very hydrating, and again, just has like that really pretty glossy finish with just a sheer wash of color. So definitely hanging on to that one. While we are in like this pink berry section, let's take a break from the nudes. I feel like all of the nude shades are kind of running together for me. So these are from Milani as well. I just love this packaging. I think it is so stunning. But let me swatch all of these for you. So again, if you do like more of a matte lipstick formula, something that's pretty long wearing, but also comfortable, this is a great option. So this one is Peony, this one is Petal, this hot pink is Blossom, this this one right here is Fleur, and then this one is Dahlia. I actually think I'm going to keep all of them. I feel like they're different enough, like even those two deeper ones. But you know what? I'm going to leave those swatches on my hand and maybe compare. Well, I don't have like a ton of other like berries and pinks, but I'll compare the ones I do have because if there is one that comes close, I'll probably keep the Milani one and then declutter the other formula. So I do have this Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Disturbed, which I feel like comes close to this Milani one. Here's Disturbed and then here's Milani's Dahlia. So I'm actually going to keep the Milani one and then declutter Urban Decay's. This I've had for a little while. The formula is not bad, but I do think I like the Milani formula just a little bit better. It's almost a little bit thinner and more comfortable. This is the ColourPop Luxe Blur Lipstick in the shade Ivar. The finish is maybe a little bit different than Milani, but it's pretty similar. And I feel like this shade kind of falls between these two. So it's a great lipstick. I haven't had it for very long, but because I do have these two, I think I can pass this one along. And then I have this Bite Beauty lipstick. This is their Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Buns. So this isn't identical to any of the Milani lipsticks, but I feel like I don't wear pinks enough. Like I don't need to keep this one in addition to these two. It's different. It's like a little bit cooler, a little bit softer, but I'm going to pass this one along and keep the other two. I do have this NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. I don't think this is going to be the same. This one's in Chocolate Mousse. I feel like this one almost has more of like a red undertone to it. Oh, you know what? It is kind of close, but no, I guess it does have more of like that brick red undertone. So it kind of looks berry. It looks a little bit red. On camera, I feel like it looks similar, but in person, it definitely has more of like that deep, deep red undertone. So I'm going to keep that one and then keep those Milani lipsticks too. These are the e.l.f. O-Face Satin Lipsticks. Let me swatch those. Even though some of these shades might be similar, the formula is very different. So the Milani ones are super matte, whereas these do have like a really creamy feel to them. So the first shade, well, let me swatch them and then I'll tell you. So on the left is Feeling Myself. You know what? I think I'm going to declutter this one. It's a little bit like the pink is pretty, but it's just not a pink that I would wear super often. So I'm going to pass this product along. I swatched these originally in like different lighting. And I don't know, like looking at this closely under these lights, it's it's probably not going to be for me. So I'm going to pass that one along. I am going to keep this one. I actually saw someone, I forget who, I saw on TikTok, someone said this is a dupe for the NARS lipstick in Anna. And now that I'm looking at it, like that was my favorite shade. So I'm definitely excited to wear that one. And then this one is called Untamed. And then on the right is All Night. I wouldn't normally wear black lipstick, but I thought it was kind of fun. And I also thought maybe mixing in like a little bit of black into a deeper berry 
would darken it up quite a bit without being like full on black. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever, not only because of the shade, but just because of like the memory surrounding it. This is the Christian Audet lipstick that Mel Thompson created in the shade Beauty. She did too. She did this one and then she also did this really pretty orangey one. But Beauty has been one of my favorite lipsticks ever since she launched this. And I just miss Mel and her videos so, so much. She was just one of the sweetest people ever. So I'll always keep this lipstick just for that reason, but also because I do wear it. It is so gorgeous. It's just the most beautiful like light pinky nude and I feel like it goes with a lot of my favorite looks. So I absolutely love this one. She also created this one called Puffin. It's just a really fun bright orange. So I, I love Mel. She was the absolute best. I still miss watching her videos all the time but I'm going to keep those lipsticks for sure. Okay, I think it's time to part with the Too Faced Natural Nudes lipsticks. I have another one. I have the shade that I wear all the time and I don't know where it is. It's probably in my everyday makeup drawer. But these are old. They're probably the oldest lipsticks I own and I held onto them for so long because this was my favorite line of nude lipstick. But I feel like I've discovered a lot of other formulas I do enjoy at this point. So I haven't worn these shades in particular in a little while. I do still wear that other one. I purchased a backup of it when they discontinued this line. This formula is just so good. It's like a very thick, very creamy, super glossy. It feels somewhat similar to like their newer formula, but these are more lightweight, which I feel like a lot of people might prefer. But I liked this formula because it just always looked so good on my lips and it stayed in place really, really well. You know what? I am going to finally part with these, not because they're bad. Honestly, I feel like they probably still work perfectly fine. I just don't wear them because I have been able to replace them with other formulas I like. These two lipsticks are from Folklore. These are really nice too. So I have the shades Maple Sugar and then also Carnival. I do wear one of these a little bit more than the other. Let me just swatch them. This is Maple Sugar. This is Carnival. I'm going to keep Maple Sugar. That's definitely a nice nude that I do reach for, but I'm going to declutter Carnival. It's a good formula if you like more of a matte formula but I just feel like I don't wear that shade quite as much. This is from Fenty. This is a little bit older too, but I feel like it's still good. I used it fairly recently. It's in the shade Makeout Break. I'm surprised it hasn't made a little bit of a comeback now that like glossy lipsticks are really in these days. It's maybe a little bit thicker than like the Makeup by Mario, but it's pretty similar to the Tarte formula. I don't know, maybe it has a little bit more of like that actual lipstick feel to it. But again, if you're looking for a good glossy lipstick formula, I do love this one. So I'm going to hang on to this one. I have two from Essence. This is their This Is Nude Lipstick in the shade Legendary, which I love. I'm definitely keeping this one. This one is their Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Peach It. Okay, swatching those next to each other, like I do like the new Hydra Matte Lipstick line, but I don't know, like the This Is Nude Lipstick line feels so much nicer. That formula is incredibly creamy. The Hydra Matte is an interesting formula because it's basically like a matte finish, but it feels very comfortable on the lips. Like now that I swatched them next to each other, I'm not even sold on that shade Peach It. This is fairly new to my collection, so I haven't worn it a ton lately. I think I might actually declutter that one and just keep this nude. These two lipsticks are from Prop of Beauty. I have the shade Finesse, and then I also have Victress. So I originally bought these when I was looking for like a new nude lipstick line to really fall in love with, and Prop of Beauty has a ton of gorgeous shades. So on the left is Finesse, on the right is Victorious. I don't tend to wear those deeper brown toned nudes a ton these days. So I think I'm actually going to pass along the shade Victorious, but I love Finesse. This is one of my favorites. Like, just look at my lipstick. Look how rough it looks because I've used it so much and I feel like when I apply lipstick, like I press kind of hard. So sometimes like inevitably the back gets just kind of like a little bit smushed, but I love it, it's gorgeous. And then the last nude lipstick I have is from Minted. This one is number five. This formula is gorgeous. It is so rich and creamy, it's so incredibly smooth. I feel like, you know, you can tell from the swatch, but sometimes when you actually like swatch the product or apply it to the lips, you just remember how nice it is and this one's good. Again, I don't wear these shades a ton, but I don't think I kept like any other really deep, dark, brown toned nude. So I'm going to keep this one as well. These are the ColourPop Glowing Lipsticks, one of my favorite formulas ever. So I think I have pretty much all of the original line and then I do have some of the limited edition ones. So I'll swatch them all for you. Honestly, I don't know if they're all still available because ColourPop does discontinue their products. This is such an underrated formula. It is incredibly creamy. Like, let me just show you. It has this beautiful glossy sheen to it. I feel like it's basically a glossy 
balmy lipstick. So there's like a little bit of a sheer finish, but it is so pretty, so comfortable to wear. This one is Peeps Orange. This one is Desert Aura. This one is Botanicals. And then this one is Mid-Century. So the only one that I'm going to declutter is this one. It's gorgeous, but I honestly, I don't think I'm going to get a ton of use out of it. This one is adults only. This one is cockatoo. I wear this one a ton. I feel like I've made a good dent in that one. This one is Peeps Pink and then Peeps Lavender. I think I'll just declutter Peeps Pink. I haven't worn that one a ton. I do wear Peeps Lavender. I just wore that one fairly recently. Like sometimes I'll wear that over a nude lipstick just to add like a really pretty pink hint. This one is Indulge Me. This one is Warm Up Guy. And then this one is Let's Jet. I do wear these two quite a bit, but I haven't worn this one in a long time. I can't remember the last time I wore it. So I am going to declutter Let's Jet. This one is Museum Day, Get Right, and then Status. I love Get Right. This is one of my favorite reds of all time. I'm going to declutter Museum Date. I haven't worn that one in a while, but I am going to keep this deeper one too. I think this looks really pretty over like a cool toned lip liner. Actually, I missed one. I have one more in the shade Girl Please which is a super pretty kind of red toned berry. So I'm going to keep that one too. Okay, and then I also have three of these Persona E-Balms. These are so nice. They're basically like tinted lip balms. They're super moisturizing. They feel really good. So meditate, gratitude, manifest. Again, I'm going to keep all three. They are gorgeous, super easy to apply and feel really good on the lips. Again, I have three of those Too Faced lipsticks, which are so, so stunning. I feel like, do I need all three of these reds? Probably not, but seriously, let me just swatch this on camera so you can see like how smooth and even it is. It just glides on perfectly. So on the left is Be True To You. That one's like a deep classic red. In the center is Lady Bold. That's like one of my favorite reds of all time. And then on the right is the shade Unafraid. I could probably declutter Be True To You. I feel like that one's just a little bit deeper than I typically go when I wear a red, but the other two are too good. I'm not going to declutter those. So I'll declutter the one on the left be true to you. I do have a couple of reds in the new elf formula. This one is no regrets, super gorgeous. And then this one is do not disturb, kind of more of like a brick red, which again, maybe I will declutter that brick red. I feel like when I wear a red, it's more so like one of the three center colors. I love like a good classic red rather than something too, too deep. And then this is Milani's lipstick in poppy. So again, if I want like an intense matte finish, this is what I'll reach for. Gorgeous color, I love the finish. You can see the difference between e.l.f. and Milani there. Like those are probably two of my favorite drugstore lipsticks, but e.l.f. definitely has more of like a shiny finish, whereas Milani has more of like a matte finish. I have two ColourPop reds. So this one is actually a little bit more orangey, which I feel like is perfect for spring. This one is called Pure Love and it is their Luxe Cream Finish. I'm definitely going to keep that one. Gallop is more of like that brick red again, which I just haven't been reaching for. So I'm going to pass this product along as well. Okay, this red lipstick has been my favorite. It's from Patrick Ta. It's in the shade That's Why She's Late. It is like a true matte finish. Like just looking at it over here in the light, I just, I keep pulling my hand back to look at it up close but it is beautiful. It stays in place extremely well. It's so lightweight. I feel like there's almost like this initial top layer that you have to work through because if you look at the lipstick up close, it kind of has like, it has like an interesting finish. Like you can kind of see it there. So I feel like the first two times I wore it, it wasn't applying as nicely. And then once I worked through that top layer, it was perfect. This is Urban Decay's Bad Blood. It is a comfort matte lipstick. So again, this was from before they redid their lipstick line. I guess it's pretty close to the Patrick Ta lipstick. Like even the actual finish is very, very similar. I mean, looking at them next to each other, I don't see a big difference between them. So I guess I can declutter this Urban Decay one. I was so tempted to keep it for a second, but I definitely don't need both. I'll pass this one along. This is from Beauty Pie. Oh, this isn't really like a red. This one's in the shade Takeover. Again, I feel like I, this one just kind of flies under my radar because it's there's no indication as to what the color actually looks like. That's what it is over on the right. Again, it has a matte finish, but I feel like it has a little bit of like a blurring finish, but the color isn't really my ideal shade. So I'm going to pass that one along. This one is from the brand Vapor. This one's actually more of like a berry. I don't know, I guess it falls between like red and berry. It's super pretty. I feel like I haven't worn this one a lot recently because again, like when I look at it, I don't know what shade it is and I feel like it was in the wrong section. So I am going to keep that one. I'm just going to move it over to like my berry toned lipsticks and keep it over there. And then to finish up with the reds, I have this Essence Hydra Matte Lipstick. 
what color is it? It just says 407. Oh no, coral competence. Okay, that's more of like a pinky red. Super pretty, definitely hanging on to this one. I, I do like this finish and this formula, but I feel like the other shade I had, like that peachy one, just wasn't ideal for my skin tone. So I feel good about that. I feel like I actually decluttered a good amount of lipstick. So I have some liquid lipsticks, some lip stains, and then the rest are just like regular lipstick formulas just in like crayon type packaging. So this is from LYS Beauty. It's one of their new lipsticks and this one is in the shade Dreamer. It is so beautiful. This is actually in my everyday makeup drawers. So I've been using it quite a bit. I just think the packaging looks so pretty. It's kind of, I don't know, it kind of strikes me as like retro packaging. I'm definitely going to keep this one. Actually, let me swatch all of my regular lipsticks and then I'll get into lip stains and liquid lipsticks because I feel like they'll just stain my hand even more. This one is from Ulta Beauty. It's in the shade Can't Even. It is their, they call this the gloss stick. So I originally bought it thinking it might be kind of similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips but it does feel more like a regular lipstick. It's a beautiful shade. I love it. It's just like the perfect kind of mid-toned cooler nude. This one is from Tarte. It's their Maracuja Juicy Lipstick in the shade Rose. I don't know that I've actually worn this a ton. It is very silky, super smooth. I feel like those pinks just aren't normally my go-to shades, but I do love the formula, so I'm going to keep this one and see if I end up wearing it for spring. If not, I'll declutter it in a few months, but it's fairly new to my collection. I think I just got it during the holidays. I have a few lipsticks from Kaja and Lottie London. They come in basically identical packaging. The formulas feel pretty much identical to me as well. So this first one is the Heart Melter lipstick in the shade Let's Chill. These are so cute because they have like this little heart-shaped applicator that's adorable. This one is from Kaja. And I actually find that the heart makes it a little bit easier to apply lipstick because I feel like you can just kind of like hug the curve of your lips really, really well. And then this one is in the shade So Fine. But I don't plan on decluttering these. They're really pretty, just like really comfortable, smooth, glossy lipsticks. And then these three are from Lottie London too. Again, I'm not going to declutter them, but I'll swatch them for you. This one is Swipe Right. This one is Just My Type. And then this one is Such a Flirt. Lottie London actually markets them as like lip and cheek products, so you could totally use these as blushes. I think because the formula is so similar, you probably could use the Kaja one as blushes as well, but I find that the Lottie London formula is maybe just slightly thinner, so it blends out really beautifully on the cheeks. I also have these Bite Beauty lip crayons. I'm so sad these were discontinued. I still wear these. I don't wear all of the shades, so I do feel like I probably could declutter some of them, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to because you can't even get them. So if I declutter one and then I miss that shade, I can't get it. So I probably will just keep these until they expire. These are pretty new to me from Tower 28. They actually just launched these, I would say like a month or two ago. These are the tinted lip balms, the Juice Balm tinted lip balms. I've talked about these a little bit on my channel, but they're really nice. They remind me a lot of the ColourPop just a tint lip crayons, but they don't have that scent. Okay, the light nude one is called Mix. That's this one right here. I love the orange toned one. Squeeze and Drink have like a little bit more pigment to them. So if you do want one that's like buildable and that does last a little bit longer, I would recommend one of those. And then the pink one is called Shake. It's basically like a tinted balm. So it's the type of thing that you would reapply throughout the day, but I think they're nice for spring and summer. Whenever I don't wanna wear anything too intense, I'll usually throw one of these in my bag or wherever I'm going, I'll bring it with me. Okay, that brings us to liquid lipsticks. I have a few liquid lipsticks. I don't have a ton because it's just not a formula that I reach for all the time, but I feel like it's nice to have a few in my collection for days where I do wanna wear them. So I actually have a couple of these ColourPop Ultra Matte liquid lipsticks. I have not worn these once over the past year, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, they're still drying down, but I'll show you this shade. So this one is Sunnyside, this one is Bugaboo, this center one is most likely to, this pink toned one is Good Karma, and then on the right is Rocket Man. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to hang on to them for another year because I just, I don't think I'll reach for them. I have a couple of liquid lipsticks from Dose of Colors, and again, I haven't worn these at all over the past year. I just can't imagine that my preferences are all of a sudden going to change, and I'm going to want to wear these all the time. This one is Sand, this one is Desert Suede, and then this one is Charm. I loved these so much. Wow, I've had these for a long time because there was a phase on my channel where I wore these nonstop. But again, I feel like my rule, my kind of like unspoken rule is if I haven't worn it at all in the past year, it's time for it to go and I haven't worn those. I think I probably will keep a couple of these about face lipsticks. So again, these are long wearing matte lipsticks, but I feel like the formula is just a little bit thinner. So it's not really an uncomfortable formula to wear. 
Okay, so on the left is Dilemma. The second one is called Obscure Desire. The third one is Fantasist. And then on the right is Monarchy. I think I'll keep the first one and the third one. So I'm going to hang on to Dilemma, which is this one right here. And then I am going to keep this one, which is Fantasist. But I think I will declutter the other two. I feel like it will be nice to have just two, because did I declutter the rest? I guess I did. It will be nice to have two lighter nude liquid lipsticks on hand just in case, but I don't know that I'll wear the other two. This is so beautiful. I'm tempted to keep that one, but should I? Maybe I'll keep that one for the fall as well, but I think I will declutter the other one. I'm actually going to declutter these Urban Decay lipsticks too. You know, I'm like torn on this formula. I forget what these are called, the liquid lip colors. They're basically like liquid lipsticks, but their whole claim with these is they don't dry down to like that dry, uncomfortable feel. They basically stay shiny. So I have Safe Word and then also Once Strangers. I love the color of Safe Word. If they made just like a regular cream lipstick in that, I would definitely buy that. But this formula, like, while it's not as uncomfortable as like something super thin and incredibly dry, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a comfortable formula. Obviously when I swatch these, like they all have to dry down just a little bit. I just wanna show you what the colors look like. But I don't know, when I'm wearing it, like I can still feel something on my lips and it's never like full on comfortable. Even though it isn't the worst feeling in the world, it's not generally something I wanna keep on my lips all day. So I think I will declutter these and pass these two along. I have a few more lip products. These are from Deck of Scarlet. These are the three-way solid lip oils. So I feel like these came out a while ago. I can't remember which year it was, but I like these more than when they initially launched because this is definitely something I wear more these days than I used to. So I have a couple of different shades. I have Merlot. I also have Scarlet. And then the last shade is Bordeaux Baby. They are incredibly pigmented. So I mean, these swatches look kind of intense. But what I do when I wear them these days is I'll just take like a really small amount and then just kind of blend it in with my finger. So I mean, as you can see, they're very, very shiny, but I might take like a little bit and then just kind of like gently tap it in so I don't get like the full on pigment because I don't generally wear like something so intense like that these days and then just like walk out the door because if it is that intense and that shiny, it's going to end up everywhere, but you can also shear them out. So I don't know if these are still available. I haven't tried any Deck of Scarlet makeup products in a little while, but if they are, I still recommend trying those. So I don't have a ton of lip stains in my collection right now. I feel like it's a formula that I've, I'm kind of getting into a little bit more. So rather than reaching for a liquid lipstick, I might reach for a lip stain. So I have a couple from e.l.f. These are their, I think they're just called like their glossy lip stains. So I'll swatch them for you. This one is Berry Queen. This one is Power Mauve. This one is Basic Beige. And then the one on the right is Pinkies Up. These are nice. Like there are so many glossy lip stains out these days, but there are a ton of expensive options. And honestly, I feel like e.l.f.'s version of the glossy lip stain performs just as great as more high-end alternatives I've tried. I am going to declutter this shade just because that's not something I wear a ton, but I am going to hang on to the other one. So that one is Power Mo. I just want to swatch it next to some of the other ones. So this is Fenty Beauty's Berry Banger. This is probably like my favorite glossy lip stain just because it's more intense. Like the gloss is very glossy. The stain is very even, super long lasting, and it just feels extra hydrating. There's the swatch of Fenty. It's kind of close to the e.l.f. one. It's a little bit different, but I do think they end up looking kind of similar. Like after the gloss dries down, I'll remove it and show you what the swatches look like next to each other so you can see like the final stain. I also have the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Happy. I don't know that this color is close to any of the e.l.f. ones. Here's the Rare Beauty one. It's definitely brighter than Pinkies Up from e.l.f. and it's definitely more pink than Power Mode. This one's like a little bit more nude. But again, e.l.f. I actually think is better than Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty's glossy layer is not as glossy. I feel like it wears off very quickly. And then the stain is not super even. So I would declutter this one, to be honest with you. I just feel like I probably will end up referencing it in a few more YouTube videos coming up. But by the end of the year, I will end up decluttering it. It's not the worst product ever. Like I feel like I'll wear it. And then once the glossy layer wears off, I just end up throwing on like a lip balm and it's fine, but it's definitely not my favorite and I won't purchase any additional shades. This one is Fenty and this one is Elf. So as you can see, Fenty's stain is a little bit stronger and it's just more even compared to the other formulas. Rare Beauty barely stains the hand, but I do have a lighter shade 
shades. So again, if you go with a darker shade, you might get a little bit more of an intense stain. Okay, so here is what my lipstick collection looked like before. I mean, as far as what you can see, I know that top row is kind of cut off, but I started out with 143 lipsticks. So here's what it looks like afterwards. I kept 102 and then I decluttered 42. So these are all of the ones I kept, and then these are all of the lipsticks that I decluttered. I feel pretty good about this declutter. Honestly, I got rid of more than I thought I was going to. I didn't have a specific number in mind, but I think because I don't wear lipstick as much as like lip gloss and lip oils, I don't have as hard of a time parting with products that I don't use as often. So I feel good about this. I'm not planning on buying any new lipstick anytime soon, unless there is like a brand new formula from the drugstore I really wanna try out. But I think for the most part, like the majority of the year, I'll probably just stick with my collection, rotate through it, rediscover some older favorites. And I definitely have more of like a manageable sized collection now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye.